so Ted, you're in an unusual business. That's uh, that most people don't know about, and I'm sure many people will, will believe the types of returns your uh, st- your student investors generate. Can you tell me to tell my audience a little bit about what your business is? Okay, well, for newcomers, this is a business that's been around for 200 years, and um, everybody's involved in it, whether they want it to be or not. But uh, it's basically the property tax business, and tax sounds like an awful thing, but We've been able to turn that into making money, and the counties did that 200 years ago. So I'm in a business where uh, I teach people how to buy tax lien certificates. That takes place in about half of the counties in the United States. And then the other half of the counties, they sell tax defaulted property. So there's two ways to make money in the business. One, uh, people that are senior citizens, your grandmother, your grandfather, they love it. They love tax lien certificates because it's so conservative. So half of the states sell those tax lien certificates. And then the other half of the states sell what we call tax defaulted property. So it's a huge business. I mean, there's well over 2 million tax defaulted properties every year. And I've been doing that for about 30 years now and teaching people to do it. So it's a way to make money in a conservative way. A lot of people have an IRA. They like to use that. It just depends upon the person. Some people like to do it for profit because we can buy properties for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar. I know that sounds unbelievable, but we'll talk about that as we go along over these next few few sessions that we'll have together. And I'll tell you, and I'll actually show you, I'll demonstrate how the whole thing works. Well, can you explain to me how tax lien certificates work? Well, here's what happens. If you have a home in Florida and you didn't pay the tax on it, for example, you have a, a facility in Florida and you didn't pay the tax, what would happen is the local government would send a notice of default. Simple piece of paper says you're in default, you have to pay your tax. All right, so if you didn't pay the tax, then they would issue a tax lien certificate. That means you didn't pay it, but the tax lien certificate is published on the county website. It's also published in the newspaper. I can go pay your tax. So if I go pay the tax, then when it comes time for you to come in and pay the tax, if you haven't paid it, if you leave it in default all the time, you'll lose the property. But most people will come in and pay the tax. And when they do, tax lien certificates, depending upon the state, they pay really, they pay outrageous interest rates. Florida pays 18%. Iowa pays 24%. A place like Arizona pays 16%. You're getting the idea. So tax mm-hmm. certificates are a very profitable investment for the person that wants to have a very conservative investment. The investor makes out because they invest with the county and they get a money back from the county. So it's a good investment, a very good investment. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the tax defaulted property? It's the other side of the business. So if you could see a picture of the whole United States now, every county in the United States, there's over 3,000 counties. Every county in the United States is mandated that the property owners will pay property tax. All right. So they've all mandated that. So uh, let's say you're in California right now. What would happen if you hadn't paid your tax? The local government at that point in time can actually seize your property. In other words, take your property away, confiscate it, and then they resell it at auction. Now, when they resell it, the counties don't want the property. They just don't want the property. So they're going to sell that property at very close to back taxes. Well, tax, back taxes are usually only a few percent of the, of the value. So they're going to start the bidding in. Now, it doesn't mean it'll end there, but it'll start there. So you can buy properties for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. We'll demonstrate that in a few minutes. You'll get to see properties that are being purchased for 20 and 30 cents on the dollar. And when they come to the investor, you and I, when we buy it, they have no mortgage and no deed of trust lien on them because the county wipes that out. So there's two investments to be involved in. One, people can buy tax lien certificates, and the other, they can buy tax defaulted property. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so it's a virtual world. I mean, can we can we do this online or do we have to be in person to do this? Well, when I started, you know, I started, I got a lot of gray hair, as you can tell. So I've been around, I've been around, it's white hair now. But uh, when I started, we had to trek all the way over the county records to get a list of the tax liens and deeds. Now, everything, just about everything is online. Almost every county will auction tax liens or tax deeds online. So you could sit and we teach you, we have classes on it. We have a class every day, every single day. This uh, We have five facilitators who work here and they give a, they give classes every day and you can just tap it in whatever county it is. So you happen to be in Colorado. So you're in close to Boulder and those places. You could just tap that, tap whatever county that is. And you could find out when their tax auction is. You could find out how many properties they had. And in Colorado, they sell tax lien certificates. So you could find out when they're going to sell those certificates. And you can find out how much they're willing to pay. Colorado's the 
uh, doesn't pay a lot of money. It's you know, most most states pay a lot more than Colorado. Just just a point of interest. So you know, so uh, so what I'm hearing is that you um, you start out with gray hair and then it moves to white hair. Yeah, well, actually, that's, that's exactly what happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what happens. If you if you just had if you just had gray, it would be okay. You know, for years, I actually had some gray hair when I was in high school. I mean, you know, I know what it is. It's not so much old age. It means your body doesn't have a lot of copper in it, and that's how it makes your hair change. But that was my that's excuse true. in high school, right? Well, then when I yeah. got a little older, I didn't want to look old, right? You know, I, every everybody in, in school wants to look old, but as soon as you get out of school, I don't want to look old anymore. So I dyed my hair for a long time till I was, till I was uh, 60 years old. I dyed my hair. Uh, 60 years old is a, a little while back for me. Uh, anyway, yeah. so you're right. And then at yeah. what time were you just like, oh, I just let it go white? I'm just That's done. I, I finally just said, forget it. I'm not going to go through that anymore. And it feels like it got wired. You know, I, your ladies put up with a lot with your hair. I mean, I, I, <laughs> oh, my God, I feel like I got wire up here. My hair is nice and soft. You can tell, tell just touching it. But, <laughs> you know, I... Anyway, so I okay. Have to All right, so we'll get we'll get back on to, on the subject. So, um, yeah. so tell me, so the, so what what I hear that you're explaining explaining is that uh, the government the the government's taking someone house house away. Is that what's happening? Well, actually, the tax lien certificate you stay in the house. Whoever the property owners, they stay right in the property. They never, they don't kick them out. Uh, the person, let's say that a tax lien certificate took place in Florida. By the way, one million property owners did not pay their taxes in Florida last year. So that meant there was 1 million tax lien certificates available. If That's I show crazy. you the list, well, here, I'll show you a list right now. Okay, so you know your way around the country quite well. This is the tax lien list for Jacksonville, Florida. For Jacksonville, Florida. Whoa, there's no, that's picture, crazy. There's no pictures in this newspaper. It's just a list. There's over 30,000 just in Jacksonville, that's Duval County. That's is, that one like typ- is that a typical number? That's low, actually, because the market's been that's so low. Good. Okay, that's all right, low. so that's, that's even if this, low. Okay. If, this, if I was holding up, uh, I don't know if I have it over here, my dad, other desk, if I held up Miami, it would be twice this so much. Whoa, that's Miami crazy. Day, there'd be 60,000 tax certificates just in Miami Dade, just that one county. So Florida wide is on it. And in Georgia, you you spent some time in Georgia. Georgia yeah. has 159 counties. Yeah. They have an auction every month in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Every single month, there's always some. In Georgia, that's my favorite state. You didn't, you didn't know that, but my favorite state, because Georgia pays you 20% on a certificate. If If you have a certificate on your house and I buy the certificate, okay, and then the next day you come in and pay, you have to give me whatever I paid plus 20%. The minimum return in Georgia is 20%. Yeah. People that should flock there and buy all the certificates they want. Minimum yeah. is 20%. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a nice return on your money. Yeah, I heard it was 20% too. That's that's a good, I mean, that, you can't get that anywhere else right now. <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the second year, it's 30%. In the year after, it's 40%. The year after, it's 50%. Are you serious? It, wow, I didn't I'm, know that. I have no reason to tell you otherwise. Seriously. Cool. Second wow. year. So if it, if if someone goes into default, one of my clients, let's think of this as a, a a clock, okay, or a calendar. So this is day one, and this is day 365. So any day they come in, they have to pay you back all what you paid and 20%. So if you're getting close to this three, day 365, at that date and time, you can foreclose on the property if you own the, own the certificate. Okay, I tell my clients, don't foreclose. Let it go over into day, the next day, 366. Because now they have to pay you 30%. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's good. Can you good. imagine getting your money back in 30? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's that's like, that's a good return right there. As I said, you can't find that nowadays. No, no. Not yet. So other so, states like, like Illinois pays up to 36% on a tax certificate. Iowa pays 24% on a tax certificate. Uh, the easiest one of all, easiest one of all is um, Texas. Texas is a huge state, 254 counties. In Texas, you raise your hand, you buy the certificate. The certificate's like this. I'll show you one. This is a certificate. This is a certificate. Just like that. You get the certificate. You take it home. You just put it on your desk. Then you go sit on your rusty dusty. You don't have to do any work. You just sit. All right? If they come in the next day and pay you, they have to give you back all your money plus 25%. And that can only go 180 days. So I think it's day one you bought today. 180 days later, if they haven't 
if they haven't paid you, they give you a deed absolute. The county gives you the deed. Get the, you don't even have to do the foreclosure. County gives you a deed. Is that amazing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So also, all this sounds awesome, but like, is it complicated to get started? Well, how do, how do we do so far? Probably not too complicated. Not too complicated. It's like it's anything, once you understand it a little bit, it's not complicated. It was invented 200 years ago when the people couldn't read and write. They couldn't read and write, but some of them couldn't pay their tax, so they had to have, they had to do something about getting the, the property back on the tax roll because the government needs money. The tax property tax money pays for the school teachers, pays for the schools, the fire department, pays for the police department, pays money for the hospital. They they have to have that money to keep the county going. Otherwise, the county would just go bankrupt. That's the reason. That's what the reason why it, it's so, such a high paying. Uh, certificate. All the certificates are high paying because the county wants to, they want to slap your hand and say, look, you paid late. And so you're going to have to pay a high rate. Florida pays 18%. It's amazing. Uh, can you imagine a million certificates being available? Hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's a crazy number. Yeah. So can you like, can you get started with, you know, like a little bit of money or do you need a lot of money to do this? Well, it's like everything in life. If you've got a lot of money, it makes life a lot simpler, but you can buy tax certificates on little strips of land, you know, like where uh, the where the roads went through and they left the land out there. And those things go to tax auction. You can buy fifty hundred dollars, but keep in mind, if you bought a hundred dollar tax certificate, and uh, you know what are you going to get back if you got a if you got a ten percent return on it, you're going to get one hundred and ten dollars back. So you've got to make some kind of investment. But the average house, average house only has taxes on it of two to four thousand a month a year. Two to four, especially in the in the South. Most of the South, two to four thousand is pretty pretty average for taxes. Now, there's going to be places like California and in New York. Okay, now they don't sell tax certificates there; they confiscate the property. So, when I want to buy tax defaulted property, I want to be in I want to be in in a nice area around Atlanta where they get big houses because I want to end up with the property. All right, I want to be outside New York City. Or want to buy in Los Angeles, but we have people buying there for ten and twenty cents on the dollar once they learn how to do it. It's amazing. I'll show you that, and, and I'll show you some pictures of it actually. So you'd be pretty amazed. So you know, can so like everybody that's li listening now that uh, that's listening, can they make like you typically is it like, like twenty five thousand, thirty thousand? How you know what's the typical amount well, that people are making? Well, what we do is we teach the people. Look, you can make if you're going to make five and ten thousand dollars, it's probably not worth your while because you're going to do a lot of work of buying and selling a, a real estate properties. So that's not enough money. So we teach them and show them how to buy the property so that they're going to buy it at the right price and then be able to sell it at the right price. And if they're building wealth rather than just one income, they're building wealth, then we'll teach them how to do what you and I call an installment sale or a contract of sale so that they get payments coming in. So our average person is trying to get. Twenty-five to fifty thousand on one deal. That's what we're trying to do. Twenty-five to fifty thousand. Now, there's times, and I'll give you some examples. Uh, uh, when we do the next lesson, I'll show you a, a couple. Actually, they just bought a house for eight thousand dollars, did a little fix up on it, but they ended up making just a little under thirty-nine thousand dollars on that property after they got their money back. That's how much they got. So there's there's generous returns because a lot of properties go for auction. Some of these states, it's amazing how many properties are at. For auction and a lot of people don't know about these sales now they certainly know about them in atlanta georgia they know about them in houston they know about them in la you know but all these little communities a lot of people don't even know that the auction is taking place it's rare for to see a big crowd at one of those auctions they're always a small bunch yeah yeah that's what i heard is like you don't want to go to the bigger cities just go out to like the secondary or tertiary markets look yeah. there yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, so if a pro, so if I'm understanding correctly, if a property owner doesn't pay their tax lien certificate, then you get the property. Yes, that's an oversimplification, but yes, that's exactly what happens. And you don't invest with that individual. You're when you're buying a tax certificate, you're investing directly with that local county. So your your money is safe and secure with the county. It's protected by the property tax code. All right. Now, when the person doesn't pay, then it, you're going to have the ability to foreclose and take that property uh, just by going, having an attorney go and do the foreclosure for you, or, or 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 you can have the person just deed the property to you. It's going to be usually people just go through the foreclosure, but you're going to end up with the property. And in many counties, for example, if you want 
every state and every county is going to have a different rule. So you're in you're in Colorado now. So they're going to have 14 or 20 counties in Colorado. What they're going to do, each one of those counties can have their own rules. Each state can have their own rules. So there's a little bit of learning that has to be in. Like in South Carolina, you raise your hand like this, you pay it, someone's taxes. If they don't come in and pay, the county just sends you a deed to the property. It's that easy. So each state's going to be just a little bit different. So I don't want to just flat say it's going to be easy. You're going to have to learn the process. And it's all it's all laid out perfectly in the rules for the auction. Every auction will have rules. And it's easy. You can look them up online. They don't try to they don't try to hide anything. If anything, they 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 detail too much information. They don't try to hide it. They just because they want rid of the property. The county needs money. Every county in America needs money because they've got police, fire, all those things to pay. The school teachers have to get paid. Otherwise, you have to close the schools. So they need to collect that money. So they'll discount the property. Ten, they'll discount 60, 70, 80 percent to get the property back in the market and on the tax roll. See, if it's on a defaulted list, it does them no good. They can't, they're not making any money on the default list. So they want to get it sold. So they'll start auctions at the back taxes. Now, visualize a $200,000 house with a back tax of five, let's say $10,000, that's where the auction might start on that. Now, I don't know where it's going to end, but if nobody shows up or it snows that day, you and I both know where it's going to, people won't show up. Someone's going to get a hell of a deal. Now there's going to be 5,000 of those auctions every single year. 99% of the people have no idea what I'm talking about. They've never yeah. heard of such. Yeah. It's a big surprise. Yeah. yeah. So, and you know, uh, the final question is like, what, you know, if if the go- if they're not going to pay the go- if the owners aren't going to pay the government in order to you know you know it, it, for their taxes why would they pay you? I'll tell you why. Number one, the law says if I'll buy the tax certificate, the government wants me to buy the tax certificate. Remember, all I'm buying from the government is this piece of paper. This piece of paper I'm buying from them represents their first lien on the property. They have the first lien. I just bought their lien. All right, now I own their lien and the person doesn't pay me. If they don't pay me, the government covenants promises me I can go ahead and foreclose on the property. And if I foreclose on it, I don't have to pay anybody anything and I'll get the property without a mortgage or a deed of trust. That's why they'll pay me. But that doesn't mean some people don't care. They just let it go to auction. Mm -hmm. They just let it happen every day. I mean, if I take you to a place like Los Angeles, you want to go down there and visit, visit the tar pits? We'll go at that time because they will have between a thousand and two thousand properties for auction in the fifth wealthiest county in the United States. I'll show you the list just to give you an example. This go is ahead, the so list show for Los Angeles County. Wow, that's like a huge list. How often do they have uh, the the auctions? At least, at least once a year. Every county is authorized to have at least one. Some of these counties will have one, two, or three. Place like Texas, they have an auction first Tuesday of every month. Okay. Every month. You can go to Houston, there'll be 200 properties every single auction. Never fails. Mm-hmm. So nobody asked me, but I'm going to tell you. I had a guy in Georgia call me, say he wanted to learn how to do this funny guy. And it turns out he's a newspaper editor. And he wanted to learn how to. I said, okay. So I taught him how to do it. Then he called me back after he went through the class and got a little coaching and showing. and called me back. He said, Ted, I went to the auction yesterday. I said, you did? He said, yeah. And I said, well, there any, was there anything for sale? He said, yeah, there was a property there. I said, well, did you buy it? He said, no. I said, well, why did you buy it? He said, I didn't believe it. I said, what do you mean you didn't believe it? He said, it was a nice little two-bedroom one bath house. I'm going to show you a picture of it here. She's going to put it up. All right. While the picture's up, I'll tell you the rest of the story. Well, I said, why didn't you buy it? He said, they only wanted $316 for it. I said, are you kidding? He said, it was back taxes. I said, well, why didn't you buy? He said, I didn't think it was real. I said, I think you're going to go back down there today and see if they sold it. He went back down. He bought the house for $316. No kidding. All right. So he touched it up a little bit. This young guy come along and he said, Look, my dad gave me enough money for rent for a whole year. Will you rent the house to me for the whole year for $5,000? The guy says, yeah, darn right I will. (laughs) Nice story, right? Awesome, yes. All the time, all the time. All right, so now what everybody needs to remember is we're going to do three or four of these, 
And then on the 27th, I'm going to have an all-day workshop. It's an all-day workshop. If you're on the West Coast, it starts early. But if you're on the East Coast, it starts at 11 o'clock and goes to 5. It's all day. And we're going to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about tax lien certificates and tax default to property. So if you liked what you heard now, we're going to give you six solid hours of this with five other of my coaches who are going to come along and help me do it. So we'll see you on the next video. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, for listening in and make sure that you hop on to the next next video coming up. Take care.